Messi mania, though. It's great for the global game. In your opinion, is it great for MLS? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, you get people saying, like, look how bad the league is. Messi's dominating. But then it's like, okay, so La Liga was terrible and Liga was terrible when he was dominating those leagues, too. I, 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 I think, like... I feel like it's easy to forget how famous Messi is like at for us inside of soccer um because we've been covering him for so long but he's like one of the five most if not three most famous people on planet earth and just like the nature the fact that he's in MLS like we always talk about these sort, sort of what will be the transformative moment for American soccer but like so many people are like have a deep emotional connection to Lionel Messi that we can't understand that it's just like it's hard for me to see how at least like a very small percentage of those people won't somehow get connected to Inter Miami or MLS for the long term and a very small percentage of Messi's global fan base is a massive <laughs> number of people um in regards to sort of the general population of people that watch MLS so yeah I I, I don't really see how it's a bad thing to be honest with you when you talk about deep emotional connections, you've got to say that for Jordi Alba and Lionel Messi, the old double give and go, Yanish. We saw it once again in this game against LA Galaxy. Those two have just got that connection. And here again, uh, into Miami, we're seeing it. Well, absolutely. Nothing new. I mean, remember, he, he did have that connection on the other side with Dani Alves for many, many years. So obviously, a player like Messi is going to benefit from that understanding, right? Because you do have to, as good as he is, sometimes, you know, there were times where he did it all by himself and he didn't need any help. But as always, uh, uh, when you play against teams that understand what you can do, you have to have somebody to get free from time to time. So this is not unusual. We're going to see more of that. Uh, I think, you know, to, to piggyback on what you were saying, yes, celebrated in so many ways and i know that's unfair but that's the only thing that mls has they have messy right in terms and that's unfair in a way because there's a lot more to it for people like us for a lot of people in this country but globally that's the man celebrate him don't hide him don't hide him behind the paywall. I mean, that's just uh, me. I mean, he needs to be seen everywhere easily. Uh, and and I just think that he needs to be celebrated because why not? It's interesting you say that, though, Jan. And let me follow up on it because I want to go on to Luis Suarez and I'll get to that in a minute. But just because you've said that, because obviously MLS has Messi right now, talking about relevance over the overshores, not right here in the USA, elsewhere in Europe to get people interested in the league, do they need more global superstars like this? Absolutely. I think, you know, globally, if this is uh, important and, I, you know, and again, we can sit here and argue how important it is for Major League Soccer to be, you know, we, we have these conversations. Where are they ranked? Under, would they, you know, their top 10 leagues in the world, uh, uh, neither here or there, but I'd like them to be. I'd like Major League Soccer to take the next step. And, uh, you know, not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and try to compare them with the Premier League or La Liga, but I want Major League Soccer to be talked about around the world. And that's selfishly. And why not? Uh, I think everybody wants their own league to be as big as, as possible. So I think through Messi and, you know, we've seen these attempts in the past, but they haven't been consistent. I think you need a season maybe that you get two or three or four players coming in where all of a sudden people say, well, it's not just about Messi because let's be honest uh, worldwide. I mean, do you think there are people that could name two players on each team globally? Probably not. I think a lot of people in this country would have that issue. It's a, you know, there's a 30 teams out there and, and, you know, uh, that's not easy to follow. So uh, I think that, in time, it's always good to see the likes of Neymar and Griezmann and Robert Lewandowski talking about Major League Soccer uh, as as their uh, you know next destination. And and why not? What do you think of that, Ryan? Do you think it will take some beginnings? Because we've seen the likes of Antoine Griezmann and Neymar hint that maybe it's the next destination for them. Yeah, I mean, I think you do run the risk of kind of getting this retirement league tag um, that people love to throw around. And I do think that like, in terms of driving like material long-term change to the league, I, I'm unclear that anyone other than Messi or Ronaldo could drive that kind of interest in the league. But yeah, I, I mean, I guess if MLS can sort of position itself as, you know, they've positioned themselves as one of the more appealing leagues for young players in all of the Americas, right? Like a ton of South American 
and Central American players are coming to MLS now. You get to live in the US, you have a guaranteed paycheck, the pay is reasonably good. And if you pair that with sort of the older stars, like that's potentially an appealing product to people. But to me, honestly, like MLS is like the bet for MLS is like long term stability. Like there's no relegation, which I know drives people crazy, but it creates a much more sustainable financial picture for the league. While, you know, the Super League collapsed um, a couple of years ago. But the general like financial stability of European soccer is it's it's like hanging on by a thread, I would say. So kind of like just the very slow, marginal, gradual growth of MLS, while who knows what's going to happen with European soccer over the next 10, 15, 20 years. I think that's more of the that's the like sweet spot for this league um, becoming a more prominent league rather than sort of the short term hit of a Lewandowski or a Griezmann coming. Not that that would yeah. be a bad it, it depends because so the, the retirement uh, retirement league has been used by many uh myself included but it, it it all depends what you do right because if you come here and down tools then perhaps you can say that but if you come here and play like Messi play like Beckham play like Zlatan for example and maybe uh, uh Antoine Griezmann and Neymar maybe uh, assuming to come here and embrace this league and play, you know because if you down tools that's retirement. But if you don't, then yes, others pay attention, right? Because there's still a lot of young players that can learn from that when they see a Messi coming in and working as hard as, as everybody else, right? So there's a massive difference. You know, there's a massive difference. I, I hate to even say it because I don't know if that was the case. Maybe it was, but you know, maybe the Lampards, the Pirlos, you know, the the experience wasn't there. They weren't here long enough. They, they I don't want to say they didn't embrace it, but they didn't make a difference. So that to me, is that you know the the retirement i i don't foresee Grez, Grezman, for example coming here and downing tools i think he'd be significant and he'd want to play here for two or three or four years and still make a difference i still see that in robert Lewandowski because he's a true professional neymar you know we can i suppose <laughs> i'd like to give him benefit of the doubt for his talent but I, so so i hope you understand that i also think that the bigger thing is, and that's a fine line, is for these players to be vocal about what you said and it, to continue getting the heads of everybody in Major League Soccer and try, try to put push the agenda uh, of saying, what if we change this? What if promotion relegation was something on the horizon? What if we did some things that would make this uh, league uh, a little bit better and closer to what everything else is? I don't know if they succeed, but I hope that they're brave enough to come here and push back a little bit, right? I mean, they have to be careful because they're getting paid millions of dollars. But I think these players uh, have the character to maybe... I would say be the catalyst, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch to push some of the agenda uh, that's uh, near and dear to many that would like to maybe get Major League Soccer a little bit closer to that next level uh, of the leagues around the world.